If you would like to pick up either of the figures you guys see in today's video, go over to RingsideCollectiblesWrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%, as well as go pre-order tons and tons of brand new WWE action figures that were just revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another 2-in-1 Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 69, Tommaso Ciampa and Bobby Trashley, or Bobby Lashley, if you if you like Bobby Lashley. You know, I used to love Bobby Lashley. Now, he's just, he's just terrible, and I have to call him Bobby Trashley. But anyways, guys, this is the second of the three reviews that we have to do. Last time, we did Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. Today, we're doing Ciampa and Bobby Lashley, and I don't know when I'll post the third one. But you guys know, in the third video of the reviews, we're going to rank all of them, so you definitely don't want to miss that one of The Miz and Rey Mysterio. But today we're looking at Tommaso Ciampa, guys, and you know what? In this version, when you order this figure, guys, they give you two options and, and you don't know which one you're going to get. They, they have no idea which one has the logo or which one doesn't. So, you could end up with a Tommaso Ciampa that does not have the logo on the butt, and then you could end up with a version that does have the logo on the butt. Does ours have the logo on the butt? Well, let's find out together. You guys know I ordered two sets of Elite Series 69, and I went ahead and opened all those figures since I had two of them, you know, one set to review, one set to, you know, go ahead and open up and pose around and stuff like that. And on my other Champa, I actually had the logo. So if this one ends up without the logo, then I guess I'll be keeping his pants on anyway. But anyways, diving into these figures, guys, you have your front viewing window here. You spin them to the right, and you got a beautiful picture of Champa and Trashley on the side there. Spinning around on the back, you have a great picture of Champa again, Bobby Trashley there. You also have a little read-up bio if you'd like to read it. You can pause it now. Probably the best set wave ever, ever freaking put out by Mattel. It's absolutely beautiful. On the side, you got Tommaso Ciampa, you got Bobby Trashley, and that is pretty much it for their packaging, guys. So now that we've cracked them out of their packaging, let's see what these amazing figures look like out of their boxes. So here's Tommaso Ciampa and Bobby Trashley out of their packaging, guys, and first take, I think both of the figures look great. One gripe I have about my Bobby Lashley already is that its waist is pretty loose. I'm going to have to super do the, do the super glue technique fix up that waist because it is super duper uh, loose and I can already tell that they totally molded the figure after a Triple H. I think they just took a Triple H, slapped different decals on it, replaced the head skin, different skin tone, and called it a day. So I think that uh, that is what we're getting over there. Tommaso Ciampa, the only thing that I have a problem with on him is that his height is not right or his legs are a little bit too small, but I know that from my other figure. So we're going to do surgery on every single figure in this series and that's probably going to be posted tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for a WWE action figure surgery guys. The next one's going to be epic. We're going to have the full Elite 69 wave on there. We're going to be doing fix-ups and swaps to all those guys. So it's going to be epic. But I really enjoy this, guys. You guys know that when they first showed off Elite Series 69 Champa, that the torso was incorrect. They fixed it up. They gave it the Neville torso, it looks like, with some hair on it. It could be the Randy Orton torso with some hair on it, but it looks kind of like the Neville one. Regardless, they totally fix it up, and it's it's much better now. Before we get into any reviews, guys, let's take our Champa right here, and let's pull his pants down, and let's see if uh, he's going to have the logo. And he has the logo, guys. He has the logo. Look at that right there. So both of my figures have the logo. Beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff. Now that we have them out of their packaging, now that we've looked and seen that the Champa has the logo, guys, let's take a closer look at Bobby Lashley's accessories and then Bobby Lashley, and then we'll take a closer look at Tommaso Champa's accessories and Tommaso Champa. All right, guys, so getting into Bobby Lashley's accessories, you actually get a ton of stuff. And when I say a ton of stuff, you get a ton of stuff. Starting off, guys, we do get this tire, and this is supposed to be, I think this is from when him and uh, Sami Zayn were working out, you know, flipping the tire or whatever it was, um, that obstacle course, that trash, terrible, awful segment about the obstacle course. But I think this is the first time we're ever getting this. You know, Jax used to have a tire like this. It said WWF 2000 on it or WWF something on it. And then on the tire itself actually had some road Kill. There was like a dead squirrel or skunk actually molded, sculpted, and painted attached to the tire. And I used to always love that as a kid. I had that as a kid, and I love that. We also get a sledgehammer. You know, uh, a common thing when working out is to you slam the sledgehammer on the tire, and it's supposed to like ricochet, and it's like supposed to get your power up and your strength up. It's a great upper body workout, so that is why that comes with that. We also have his headband, which he comes with out of the packaging. So we have his headband. It's just like any, uh, it's not the same as John's seen his bicep bands they actually gave it like some mold so it won't like stretch and tear they actually have it in a nice plastic piece so that is pretty nice there next up we have a just black hat you know he's worn the black hat before to the ring and it's just uh if you don't want him to wear the headband you can just throw the hat on there maybe cutting promos and things of that nature 
We have his signature pointing hands, and this is for that Bobby Lashley pose that he loves to do. You guys know when he comes out, so I'll definitely be using this in the pick fed because you guys know Bobby Lashley is a part of the Extreme Championship division, and he actually uh, is a one-time champion, so that's pretty cool there. And the last accessory that we have, guys, is his vest. So he gets a vest, a hat, a headband, a tire, a sledgehammer, two interchangeable hands, and you guys know he has worn this before. I would have preferred maybe the gray t-shirt, maybe cut off, or maybe just the gray t-shirt with the, with the sleeves cut off or something, but you know what? This is cool, too. I, I enjoyed that they at least gave us something. Um, it doesn't have any logos on it. It's just a plain black vest that we've seen many times before. But that is it for Bobby Trashley's accessories, guys. So now that we have covered Bobby Trashley's accessories, let's take a closer look at Bobby Trashley himself. So taking a closer look at Bobby Trashley himself, guys, you guys just see here, I really do like this head scan. I think it does favor him. I don't think I like that he's doing like a smirky face because uh, I guess this is maybe his baby face run, but I think I would have preferred a heel, maybe like a grimacing face, which we'll see with his Jax figure here in a moment when we do the comparison. But here is, uh, I like this body mold for Bobby Trashley. You know, he's a massive man. He's a freak of nature. His arms, his shoulders, he's a massive human being and standing six foot three and 270 pounds. I mean, this man is, is a mountain of a, he's a mountain of a man. But let's look at it here, guys. You will see that it's pretty much your basic Triple H figure as far as the molding goes, the arms, the torso, the everything is pretty much a Triple H figure. Uh, we have his decal right here. It says Lashley looks really good there. On the back, you have his signature logo. It's got the pointing fingers on there. Really like this attire. The red and white really pops off of it there, so I really enjoyed that. Also, he comes with elbow pads, so not only do you get all of his accessories, you get his elbow pads as well, which ups the accessories. You know, I don't count knee pads because everybody wears those, but elbow pads are a different story. Going down, you guys have his massive legs. You got his black boots, and we're going to definitely be uh, switching some stuff around on this guy, and I'm excited to do that on action figure surgery. And this is it. I mean, that's pretty much it for his figure, guys. It's pretty basic. It's like a Triple H figure. No new molds, no new anything besides the head scan. You get some good decal decal work on the trunks. And that's about it for your Bobby Trashley, guys. So now that we have done that, let's take a closer look at some other Bobby Trashley Elite Figure comparisons. So for your Bobby Lashley Elite Figure comparisons, guys, I do have my custom Elite Bobby Lashley right here on the right made by Brock Lock. And you guys will see that the body molds that he used is totally different. And he did not include the headband. I threw that on there. It's a Cena, uh, it's a Cena bicep band that I threw on the head scan. But you will see, I like the grimacing face better. I just think that, you know, he, him being pissed off fits Bobby Trashley better, especially in my division because he's a heel. Um, maybe this is when he was a baby face or something. I'm not sure. But uh, this is more of when he was in his older run of WWE. And you can see that he has the, the shorter biker trunks. And he has uh, no logo on the back, just black wrist tape. Um, and he didn't come with a headband again. So you got to look at that as well. And since I have two Bobby Lashleys, I have this one. And then I have another Elite 69. I may take the other one and fix it up like this, like with the black biker trunks, no headband, you know, black wrist tape, and sort of fix him up the way he used to look on his old run, just to, you know, change it up a bit. Or I may customize it to a different color attire, but you guys can see the difference in torso, the difference in arms. This is more of the block Brock Lesnar body mold um, from head to toe, and then this one is uh, a new Triple H mold, which gives him a more ripped up look. And I like both, you know, either one worked for me, but I think I do like the Elite 69 more, given that the head skin's different. And now I have my Search and Destroy t-shirt that I can throw onto Bobby Lash and boom, now Bobby Lashley has a t-shirt to wear. Um, and yeah, that's pretty good. So I get to replace my custom with an official Mattel figure, and that's nice. I like that. So now that we've done that for Bobby Lashley, guys, let's take a closer look at Tommaso Ciampa's accessories. All right, guys, for Tommaso Ciampa's accessories, you don't get as much as Bobby Trashley, but you still get some pretty good stuff. You get some interchangeable hands, and these are the waving goodbye hands. You know how he used to wave to Johnny Gargano in NXT. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. So you put this in here, and he's like, you know, like this, and then you put the other one, and it'd be like he's closing it like that, like that creepy wave he used to hit Johnny with. So there is his interchangeable hands. It's the same one as Ricochet with the massive thumb and the long fingers, but that is that. You also get his signature green crutch. You know, uh, it wasn't green, I'm pretty sure, but you know, it, it was a silver color, but he used to beat the hell out of Johnny Gargano with this. So, you know, we, we love the... We, he had to come with a crutch. I understand why he came with the crutch, but I guess the green sort of ties in with the camo pants. I don't know, but it was silver. I may uh, interchange mine with a silver one just because it would match better. Then you have his signature gold knee brace and he does not uh, have the, there's supposed to be some details on here, but you know, that's, uh, that's I guess that's hard to get on such a small thing. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks good. I like the gold on there. I like the black on there. Black sheeny paint, shiny stuff going on there. We got, You guys know that this was a part of their classic matches. You know, many times the knee brace was involved, so that's pretty cool that they included it here. You know, Tommaso Ciampa always has his signature knee brace on. And then for his final accessory, guys, he does have his camo jogger slash pants. 
and they did a really good job on these. I do enjoy them. Uh, they're kind of difficult to take off the figure, but nonetheless, I think they had them on the figure like this, where the seam is on the front, but I think that uh, me and Cody and a couple other people have found out that if you reverse them and put them on backwards, they fit the figure a whole lot better, and they make it look better. You guys will see at the end of the video, in the last segment, you will see that the uh, camo pants look better when the, uh, when the Velcro is on the butt side instead of the front. It makes it look a lot better, and it fits better, so that is it for Tommaso Ciampa's accessories, guys. So now that we have taken a look at all of that, let's take a closer look at Tommaso Ciampa himself without his pants on. All right, guys, so take a closer look at Tommaso Ciampa himself. I'm really digging this head scan. I think it looks really, really good. I love that they added some great detail to the beard. I think that's fantastic. I know a lot of people are having some trouble here. Like on my other Tommaso Ciampa, let me go ahead and grab him. On the right side, you will see that there is some paint missing right here, and I don't know what's up with that, but uh, on my right side, it's all good. So maybe that's like a continuing problem. I think BEW's also had that paint missing missing, so that is just something to take note of, but I guess you won't be able to, you know, I guess you got to be prepared. If it comes in the mail and it doesn't have the paint there, you may have to uh, get some brown paint and fill in that hole if it bothers you that much, which it would bother the hell out of me. But anyways, guys, let's get in here. Uh, again, they fixed this torso from the first time we saw it. It was going to have the smaller, you know, HBK torso or the AJ Styles torso, and I don't get why they don't give AJ Styles this torso. Like, I would be okay with them giving this torso with the hair on it, with the decal. I think that would be perfect for AJ Styles, but they continue to give us the small AF torso and it's so upsetting. I can't stand it. Um, I like this arm mold. Nothing too crazy. Even though his arms are jacked, he has cut arms and everything. I feel like when you put him on a figure, um, it, it doesn't always shine through right. It kind of looks off, so I'm kind of glad that uh, they went with the small. You could always switch it out and maybe change it up if it bothers you that much and you want it to be the bigger mold, so nothing crazy there. You got black wrist tape, black hand tape over here. Going down to the trunks, guys, I believe this is his NXT TakeOver Chicago attire with the black and the gold and the silver and the brown and I think BEW did a custom of this and it looks so fantastic. I can't remember if it's New Orleans or if it is Chicago. I think it's Chicago but I, I don't know. Somebody will let me know down in the comment section below. But uh, we have the smaller leg mold which I cannot stand. We're definitely going to switch out these legs because Tommaso Ciampa has bigger legs than this and they make him look like a baby and it'll fix his height. So uh, he's definitely really, really, really short. He is not five foot eleven like you would see here. I think he's actually smaller than the Mustafa Ali figure and the Ricochet figure. So we'll We'll have to definitely fix that up. But going down, you have black open knee pads, which I love, and then we have the black lace boots, and that is it for your Tommaso Ciampa figure. Definitely the best Ciampa to date. I'm really excited for it. I really enjoy it, and we're going to compare him to his other elites that we have here. We have one other Mattel elite, and then we have a custom that we'll compare him to, but now that we have covered Tommaso Ciampa's figure, guys, let's get into some Tommaso Ciampa elite figure comparisons. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at some elite Ciampa comparisons, you will see here we have the Target Exclusive Hall of Champions DIY Tommaso Ciampa which is just entirely too small. I mean, my God, look at it. It's just, it's just so tiny. It's just, it's just not Ciampa. And then we, of course, have our Elite 69 Ciampa in the middle. And then we have my custom Elite Ciampa that we made on, like, Action Figure Surgery Episode 1 or 2. I can't remember, but he has the bigger arm mold. He has the hair on the chest. He has uh, Cesaro trunks because I never, you know, painted it or anything. But he's entirely too tall. He's definitely way too tall. He towers over these two. And I even switched out the lower legs. I did some other things to try and fix it, but that's not... It's not going to be fixed, I guess, so uh, I guess I'm just going to have this. I may break him down and use the head scan for something. I'm not sure, but I would love to know what your thoughts are on the Hall of Champions, the Custom, and the Elite 69. The Elite 69 definitely takes the cake, but I would still like to know down in the comment section below. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite figure review on the Elite 69. Tommaso Ciampa and Bobby Lashley figures, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts down below on both of these figures. Do you have these? Do you own these? What are your thoughts on them? I would love to know. If you're thinking about getting them, I would definitely recommend it, guys. This is the first time in the line for Bobby Lashley, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've ever had a Bobby Lashley figure before, so this is really cool. And then Tommaso Ciampa, this is definitely the best Tommaso Ciampa to date, and he should be returning from injury, you know, anytime now. Who knows when he's going to show up, and you definitely want the best Ciampa, because if you own that other DIY Ciampa, this one is head and shoulders above that one. Not in terms of height, but in terms of just overall quality and accuracy and betterness of a figure. So I would definitely recommend both of these, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you would like to pick either of these up, you can go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, wrestlingfigures.com, 
Use my promo code MDTOYS. You will save yourselves 10%. Save some money. Tons of great pre-orders on Elite 70, Elite 71. Tons and tons of figures that are going to be releasing very soon. You guys know with Comic-Con, there's been tons of reveals. And if there's any more reveals today, I will be posting about those. So definitely be on the lookout. I cannot wait to see if we uh, if we get some more reveals today. I think we're supposed to be. Maybe like uh, some exclusives or something like that. We'll have to see. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.